Hi everyone. Now we will learn in Angular how we can populate data in input fields with API. First question you can ask here like why we need to update the data in input fields. So we will discuss that thing. Even I will give you a small demo, demo before start with the code uh, so that you can get some idea uh, like what we will achieve in this part. Then we have to make a service function for API call and we will write some code for uh, fetch the data from API. Then we will populate data in the input fields and at last we will discuss some important interview question also. This is Angular 19 playlist that will definitely help you out for Angular job, project and interviews. You can access this playlist from description box of this part. Alright, so now the question is why we have to uh, update the data in the input fields. So in till previous parts we implemented the delete API, right? So here let's say you want to update a user, then what you need to do? and you want to update this Anil user or maybe Sam or this Ashwi then how you can do that so first you have to fill the this these details uh, in the input fields all right and this data should come from the database only why because let's say you are uh, ideal on this screen from last one or two hours right and maybe from some other system someone updated this Anil or this Sam data whatever you want to going to update there right and uh, again if you will update this data without getting the latest data then maybe you will update some wrong information so that's better to always uh, get the data from database in the input fields before updating it all right so this data we will get from the api and we'll update in the input fields and so that in next part we can update we can uh, you can say that call a put or patch api method to update the user data okay so now let's move to the code and I removed the old code whatever we are going to do in this part all right so first what we need to do we have to add a update button there so you can take one more ally then you can take one more button and uh, update text you can mention there and you can also add click event and on this click event we will call a method select user or something or something user and there we have to pass the id which is user dot id now let's define this function in the app dot component dot ts and uh, let's console dot log the id this id we will get as a parameter and the type of this will be string so now if i click on the update you can see that i am able to get the id if i click on the sam then again i am get, getting the id perfect so after that we have to make a service in user dot service dot ts file so that we can get the uh, data on the behalf of this id because we need the data only for the single user so come here and simply put get selected user id should be string only and uh, we know that it should be a observable function because we are calling the api there observable and uh, the observable data will be in the user form right and then we can simply return there we will mention this dot http dot get and in the get we will provide the url this dot url and with that we have to provide the id in the parameter so that we can get the data only for single user and why there is okay we have to put this return type also which is user now you can access this data inside the selected user so this simply put there this dot user service dot get selected data then uh, mm, yeah there we have to pass id dot subscribe and we know that in subscribe we are getting a callback function data and with this the type of this data will be again the user now you can console dot log like we are getting the exact data or not to verify data and if i click on the let's say ashwi on update you can see that we are getting the old detail from Ashvi 
than all detail for the user like whatever we are clicking the button we are getting the detail respect for the respective user great now the next thing is we need to define one more property there so let me put there selected user and the type of this will be user because there will be no array this, this is the information of single user and undefined because by default there is no value at all okay and why this is giving a duplicate item why i don't think so this is duplicate okay then um, i think i just need to change this because this is the same as the variable name so let me make there select user only right that would be better i think select user and the selected user here we will store that this dot selected user here you will store the data inside this and now to populate this data with the ng model you can simply use uh, selected user dot name and sometime the selected user can be undefined as we know by default this will be undefined only to so that you can make the question mark also now come there if i click on the update you can see that the name is updated there for sam same for the ashvi also now you can use the same ng model thing with the other input fields also okay and what we can do there um, let's put their email as well as we can put their age also yeah now if i click on the let's say update then all information is updated there but this button is still add user so i have to update this also so for that what we can do we can put the if condition there if a selected user is uh, not defined right then we can use okay, let me put this braces yeah and this one also yeah then we can show this button otherwise else we can show update user perfect so now if i click on the update this button is also getting changes change you can see that okay so the uh, last thing for this part to get all these details in the submit button click so we know that here we are already submitting this information and this data is actually going in the add service so what you can do there you can simply check if uh, not select this dot selected user this dot uh, selected user then you can keep all these uh, details inside this else we can just make this console.log like this and here you can see that for update user info like this okay so if i click on the sam then click on the update user here you can see that this is going in the else condition so this is how we can populate the data with the help of API in the input fields. If you still have any doubt, confusion, you can ask me in the comment section. This is my Paytm and GPay donation. And please like this video, subscribe this channel. Thanks everyone.